be, be reason to be optimistic that something could get done. Do you think Senator Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader, uh, is willing to engage in this? He hasn't really shown a lot of eagerness to talk about election reform. Yeah, I think he is taking the same uh, approach that he took when they were trying to separate the infrastructure package out from the president's overall desires on spending. And that ultimately worked the same way. A bipartisan group got together. White, you know, Biden came into that late. Uh, McConnell kind of stayed out of it. The bipartisan group bubbled something up, and it ultimately became law. If this is going to work, I think that's how it's going to happen. I think there is broad agreement on the Republican side that this is a good idea. There is also nervousness that Democrats, uh, specifically in the House, may want to try to put things in that they don't consider to be germane to this and not passable. So I, I'm cautiously optimistic. I think it's still not quite right, but you can tell there's a fruit growing on the tree. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm hopeful that they do it, because what Donald Trump said this weekend is mm -hmm. absolutely ludicrous. Mm -hmm. It's wrong. And, uh, and we, we cannot allow people to try to hijack the outcome of an election in the future the way he did and the way he continues to say that a vice president should be able to do. But can you answer? very hypocritical given what they said before. Well, what do you think? Yeah, I, well, first of all, I, I think the way they've stated their position is, is not great. <laughs> However, this weekend, the ABC News Ipsos poll came out and three quarters of the American people say Biden was wrong to announce this the way he did, that he should have said, I will consider everybody. And I think he's done a disservice to whoever he ends up putting up because I've looked at the list. All these people are highly qualified, experienced, respected, you know, and so I think he's sort of saddled them with something here that he shouldn't have done. The correct way for Republicans to look at this, in my opinion, is to, and my gut reaction was, well, we ought to turn this into a circus and let's block vote against it and treat them the way they treated Kavanaugh and Barrett. That's not the right answer. The right answer is to show that this process can work when we want it to work and to give this person a fair hearing and a vigorous challenge but on the merits, and show this person respect, a respect that Kavanaugh, Barrett, and Gorsuch never got. Let's show people that this process can work if we want it to, because the people on this list, they may be liberal, but they deserve our respect. You're not buying it.